paving the way for final waxing. Mother's Clay Bar System. More value, more clay. We've got a long way to go on day two at Barrett-Jackson, and then a full day on day three. Super Saturday at the Barrett-Jackson Palm Springs. Live coverage is right here on Speed, beginning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. We'll take you through the day to 5 p.m. Step away briefly. We'll be live streaming at speed.com and then be back at 7 p.m. to take you through the end of day three. Here's a look at the top sellers of the day thus far, topped by that 57 Ford Thunderbird in red, $69,000. Customized 69 Ford Mustang Convertible went for $51,000. 92 cars total sold thus far by the Barrett Jackson Auction Company, both reserve and no reserve, for a total of more than $2.5 million. And inside the Expo Center, another Barrett Jackson tradition, charity, particularly the Daryl Gwynn Foundation, based in nearby Davie, Florida. Daryl, of course, former NHRA racing champion and current legend. He and his wife, Lisa, established a foundation to provide motorized wheelchairs to those who need them, particularly children. And that's the case today. The young local resident gets a long-awaited wheelchair from the Daryl Gwynn Foundation. We're going to wrap up how we're going to auction off a very special car to raise more money for the foundation. The classic body style and paint job that invokes the nostalgia of all the class to all us classic race fans. The car was purchased by longtime foundation supporters Tom and Diane Day at Bear Jackson in Scottsdale this year and donated back to Daryl Gwynn Foundation for auction at the Barrett Jackson auction in Palm Beach. Here we are, folks. Established racer, 2002 champion drag racer Daryl Gwynn and his wife Lisa and their foundation are going to benefit from the proceeds of this 100% of these proceeds are going to Daryl. Folks, we got a video. If you pay attention to your monitors, we got a quick video to show you that really will uh, be meaningful. Let's cue the video, please. That's the video of the famous 76 Daytona 500 finish. Richard Petty and David Pearson crashed. Pearson got his car going and crossed the finish line for the legendary Wood Brothers. Wow. I got goosebumps. Notice the car in its livery. Leonard, let's have you say Notice the car the that is about to be, be sold. A replica with a Ford Racing NASCAR V8. We're about to hear from Daytona 500 winning car owner Leonard Wood. Phoenix, Arizona, to help me unveil this car that's being sold. So then we go to Day uh, Daytona with the same paint scheme. Ed and Lynn, my nephews, want to honor David Pearson with the same paint scheme. Young Trevor, Trevor Bain gets in the car, drives a perfect race, and then comes home the winner. Very special moment. So if you want a piece of history, I think uh, this is where it's at. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, the only thing left now, we're going to put the driver's seat right up there on the auction block and put Spanky Aster behind the driver's wheel. Let's raise some money, Spanky, make some Barry Jackson magic for these good folks. One, two, and half of them, 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 and by looking at this car, it's a beautifully done replica. I mean, this is a street car designed to emulate the stock car racer, but beautifully done. Well, it sounded like something from another planet when it rolled up on stage. Well, that's right, guys. This one's got a 521 cubic inch version of the 429 460 Ford wedge motor and a five speed stick behind it, so a lot of Guys, I know the Childress family of Gateway that built this car. 
and they really know their forwards. I mean, these guys know how to do forwards. And here's just one example of it. Well, take a look inside. What they've done is they've actually stripped everything out, all the interior out, put in a roll cage, put in that racing dash up front. When you come back to the very back, you can see where they put the fuel cell in here. This really is a, an emulation of what they built back in that day in 1976 to run. And more importantly, it's got such an iconic paint job. It was a historical paint job in its day. And then with Trevor Bain, the wonderful young man who won Daytona 500 this year, has just taken that legend to a new level. I gotta say, they went as far as to recreate the, the traction the arm helps, type of rear suspension like this, as you would find in under most uh, NASCAR vehicles of this time. Very cool. To the charity, no buy fee, no sell fee. Help these folks with Leonard Wood himself here. Leonard, I'm sure you won't mind taking some photographs and a few signatures to the new owner, right? Absolutely. So again, you're buying history. Any collection in the world buying this and in, in this environment with these people here can get a treasure, but more importantly, you're gonna help folks like this and help Daryl and his foundation. So again, 100% going directly to Daryl's foundation. The car is just a memory to take home or maybe do whatever else you want to with it, like run it over the auction block at Barrett Jackson. I'm gonna win 40 bid, asking 40, five thousand dollars. I'm gonna get five to go, five to bid, five to five, five to win, five, five, five. I'm gonna win 40, five thousand. I'm gonna win 40 to bid, 45. I'm gonna win five, 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 45. I'm gonna win five. I'm gonna win 40, five thousand dollars. I'm gonna get 45 thousand dollars. I'm gonna get five to go, five to bid. No car of tomorrow here. That was the car of yesterday, and a good day it was. He would get 50. He would win five. Pretty sure 1979, that finish you saw was the last year for full-size stock cars by 8081. Downside. Cars began to take over. Five to five to five to five Good old days. Fifty is all we're bid. Fifty-five thousand dollars on it. Fifty-five thousand dollars. Fifty-five thousand dollars. Fifty-five to get five. Fifty-five. 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 Fifty-five.
benefit car was hammered away for a total of $95,000. And the beat goes on. Welcome back to Barrett Jackson in the Palm Beaches. Moments ago, a second vehicle, a Ford GT500 Mustang, was sold to benefit the Daryl Gwynn Foundation to the tune of $50,000, plus some automobilia for another $7,000, a total of $152,000 in funds raised for the foundation here at Barrett-Jackson, which is very nice.